Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a sponsored video with Maybelline New York. I'm doing another video on concealer hacks. I did one of these last year. It was super popular. That video got so many views. Today in this video, you're gonna see me showing you some amazing hacks using concealer Plus, I'm very excited to say that my face actually has no foundation on it at all. I created this complexion with purely concealers and I'm going to show you how I achieved this. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This nice natural makeup look without foundation is crazy. Enjoy. So first step would be to prime because that's going to give an even texture to your skin. And then when we go on with concealer and stuff, you can use that to even out the skin tone a little bit more. Because the skin on your eyelids is so thin, you can usually see the little veins and you can see how transparent the skin is. So I'm gonna take Master Conceal. It's a really concentrated formula, but it doesn't cake. Put a very small amount. Oh dang, I meant a small amount. And then blend it out. I'm going to put a little bit of um, just like a shimmery eyeshadow on. This is an amazing highlighter. It's so smooth and really, really shimmery. So people are gonna love it. Just gonna add that there. So obsessed with Jouer products right now. This is the Slim Cream Eyeliner. Just gonna put that on the outer half just to lift it and then smudge. Now, mascara. Too Faced Better Than Sex. Love this stuff. Just leave it to the top lashes for now. To correct my troublesome areas, I'm gonna take the Master Camo Color Correcting Kit, which is a palette of six. I've got a deep one, a medium one, and a light one. I'm gonna take medium because I wanna use the peach colors because we're going under the eye today. Now, as you can see, I'm a very lucky woman and I don't have much under eye circles, even though I'm jet lagged right now. There's probably a little bit of greenness in there. The trick with color correcting is to only use it where you absolutely need it. I'm gonna take the peachy tone. It needs to be warm peachy tone, so I'm gonna kind of mix it with the yellow and stuff. Because the color in there is kind of like a gray, bluey, greeny color. So I need to use a peachy tone to correct it. And another trick is to build up slowly. Just keep it nice and light because you can always build up, but it's difficult to go back once you've put too much on. That's why I like to use a fluffy brush. When it comes to the edge of my eye, I always sweep it up at an angle following my lower lash line. Just so that if I do have eyeliner there, it conceals any part that's like bringing my eye down. So that eye is done and that eye is not done. I feel like you can see quite a difference. I'm gonna take some of the yellow concealer and I'm flushing right now, just concealing my cheeks. <laughs> Only to add blush later. The very well-known hack when it comes to pimples is of course using a green concealer. This is the Cover Stick Concealer. It's a waterproof formula. You can color correct, but it also lasts for a really long time. This is a brand new one, but I do have it at home and I do love it. I used to have this when I was a teenager. I would firstly smush a little bit to the back of your hand because you're probably gonna be using this on things like blemishes. This is just an eyeliner brush. Get some on there, watch it disappear. And then you can take the concealer from the palette and very lightly so you don't move the green concealer, just very lightly go over the area. So that will remove any green tint and add an additional layer of coverage and just match it to your actual skin tone more. I'm gonna tack some brows on. This is the Shiseido Eyebrow Styling Duo. One end has like a smudgy part that has, I guess it's like eyeshadow, but brow powder on it. You can then use that to quickly fill in like the body of the brow, like the center part. Then you've also got the really nice fine pointed pencil to do the edge. Oh. <clears throat> There's always one. Anyway, luckily I can use my concealer. The Fit Me is a natural coverage concealer. It just looks so pretty and natural on the skin. That's why it's one of my most used. But you can like take it over the brows because it's doe foot. You can kind of use it to erase your boo-boos. Then I'm gonna take a brush. Take one with an angle on it so you can be precise and go around the edge of your brows. This is a nice oil-free formula too, so you can kind of put it everywhere without worrying about getting oily. Just make sure that's all blended by taking the blending brush around the edges, but don't get too close to the brow. This is the Superstay Better Skin Concealer and Corrector. It has a bunch of good stuff in there with antioxidant benefits and stuff. I like to do this, like when I'm not wearing foundation, these are the areas that I like to brighten. Blend it out. 
You can also use your fingers, of course. Last concealer hack is contouring, and you can, of course, do this with concealer. Just take a concealer that's a little bit deeper than your natural skin tone. And then you just blend it out. Blend this nose one out. Fake lashes might not seem like they're very natural, but these ones, I looked them up and I'm pretty sure it's the 812s. I've already worn these a couple times. These are so pretty and look like real eyelashes. I've got these little Jouer highlighters. They clip together. They're cream highlighters and this is Champagne and Camellia. I'm gonna take both of them mixed together, because why not? Blush is another way to kind of mask some redness that might be on your cheeks because it's pink anyway. You can kind of even the look out. I cannot believe this is a full face of like concealer as base. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna finish it off with some lip gloss. I'm actually loving the Sweet Peach Creamy Oil Peach Lip Gloss from Too Faced. It just smells so good. It goes on so smoothly. It smells. Oh. So good. Last tip is to touch up your lip line using Fit Me for this. Just go around the edge to make it look nice and sharp. If you use an angle brush, you can get into the cupid's bow really nice, like that. When you highlight the top part of your lip as well, it also helps it look larger. Let me take off my bunny ears. Would you believe that this is a no foundation look? I know I did put a lot of concealer on, but the difference is, is that you only use it where you need it. When you think about it, normally you would put foundation and then concealer on. That is great. I will definitely keep doing that for the rest of my life. But I quite like this little hack because it feels a lot lighter on the skin. It looks a lot more natural and you're just target correcting what you need. As you can see when you get up close, my skin looks absolutely like skin. Leave a comment below letting me know what your concealer hack is and thank you Maybelline for sponsoring this video. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Mwah.